Hello, so this is Josh, and I'm going to talk about testing WordPress plugins with PHP unit a little bit more today. I've done a few videos recently where um, I'm showing by example how I test plugins, but I'm this video I want to back up and just show how PHP unit works, assuming that you haven't used PHP unit and just show the basics of it. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen again. Okay, so this is actually um, some tests inside a plugin machine. You can see they get kind of complicated. Uh, there's a lot going on here, but if you zoom into something like this, you can see it saying, is the version of the plugin 2.0.0? Does it have three settings? Like assert count, assert same, assert true. Is blocks enabled? Does it, like that's a function that returns true or false. And so I've set up this sort of contrived scenario in my tests uh, where I'm asserting if it's true or false. So this test fails if it comes back false. So let's um, zoom out quite a bit, um, like start another file. This is like a totally empty directory now. So I'm just going to, we're not going to use WordPress really at all today. Um, I'm going to hit init real quick. Composer init starts a new project in the directory. Composer is the PHP uh, package manager. It can do things like install dependencies. So I'm just hitting enter. It's asking me, do I want dependencies? But these are not the development dependencies. So I'm going to say no. And then um, it says require dev. So these are my development dependencies. I'm going to say yes, you do. And I'm going to search for PHP unit slash PHP unit. Excuse the latest version. And then this created a composer.json for me. And you can see it requires PHP. Great. Yes, I would like to install these dependencies. Cool. So I'm going to make it a directory here and call this tests. And I'm going to put there a file called first test.php. Notice that I ended the name of the file with test. Um, and I'm going to make the class name also the same. That is the standard, we can override it, but it's best just to leave these as first test. Because you might have files in there, in this directory that are for other reasons. You should probably put them in a subdirectory, but that you might have methods that aren't, you know, traits, um, things like that, uh, mock objects. Anyway, um, what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna um, extend test case we're actually going to do there is use PHP unit framework test case. So that's going to give us all of the um, assertions I'm going to show. So the idea behind unit testing is that you're going to assert that the thing that you expect to happen happens. Does your code work? Sort of the big question here. So, um, all of my methods, it's not like GitHub cheat for us here. I have GitHub Copilot installed. It's really helpful for testing because it's used to testing with PHP. And if there's a ton of code on GitHub, that does it. So public function test arrays. And so let's say that we have data equals I don't know, this array. We want to learn some things about it, right? This assert array has key um, one, like it's got this key number one. Um, let's just run that real quick. Like we're just proving an assertion about this array. So we're going to go vendor 
bin php unit and then we're going to give it the directory and we normally set this up with a composer command but so it ran one test one assertion that's good um and so i just went with a research array has key we can do that um we can say things like this so array not has key two So notice that I now have one test, two assertions um, before I had one test, one assertion. It's good just to make sure that you're not making a mistake. Like for example, see how I just added three assertions, but the number didn't go up? The reason for that is that um, I didn't um, I didn't start the method name with test uh, strings. So now we'll do this. Now there's five assertions. So PHP unit is filled with these really super helpful um, things like this assert same. Um, This is actually really important the difference between assert same and assert equal. So let's say that we have a function that returns a new standard class object every time. Get object. And that's how this just name equals something, right? Doesn't really matter. So if I do assert same get right each time it's going to return um, a standard class object here. This isn't going to work because they reference a different object. Like the, each time it created this new object. But if we go to assert equals, um, that may or may not work. Yep, see, they're functionally the same thing. Like, if we do this, they're gonna be the same. And if we go back to assert same here, it's gonna work because there's nothing unique about this story. Um, so assert same, is a little bit tricky. This is one thing to keep in mind because um, two objects, referencing two objects, it'll be different. Right, they're not exactly the same object, but they are equal. All right, that's gonna be assert equals. Um, so a good code complete, um, and GitHub te um, te Copilot, like you can really get all of these types of assertions together. Um, important to keep in mind that like right now, I could do this in a WordPress plugin, but again, these are unit tests. They don't work with, uh, by, by default and by convention, what we call unit tests, don't use dependencies like WordPress or MySQL. We can still use PHP unit for integration tests that do have WordPress be running. Um, and also like other like acceptance test frameworks use PHP unit as a test runner. So it can be used for more than unit testing. It's a PHP testing framework test runner that allows us just to do these kind of things where we're like, I have a function add number and a second number, right? And so, Basically what I want to do here is be like, assert equals three if I add one and two. Doesn't work, null matches three. Oh, I didn't actually uh, implement the function. 
working number plus second number. Right. Um, that's cool. You see how I was able to be like, this is how I expect it to work. And then I made it work the way that I wanted it to work. And now it all will always work that way. That's the big idea behind uh, unit testing. Um, we might want to test some other types of cases. Like if I add zero and negative three, do I get that? Like, does it work use negative numbers? Um, that kind of thing. We want to make sure that we're being thorough in these. Um, but really what's cool about this exercise is if, like install composer, it, you know, set up a package with composer, install a PHP unit, write some things is it's real easy to get set up with. Don't even need something like bug machine to help you. And you can start with like autocomplete to learn um, just how to compare things and start to think about how you could test your code. Great. Um, I'll be writing more of the articles about this kind of thing, as well as putting videos on the YouTube channel. So if you go to pluginmachine.com, you can sign up for the email list and like get each week's updates of videos and other things that are new with the plugin machine and around the WordPress world. And you can like and subscribe for more videos here. Thanks.